Hello, and thank you so much for joining me, Michelle V. Hill, for another Money Minute. Um, I'm going to continue with budgeting part two. So what will you need to keep track of your money? You're going to need some type of holding system, such as a three ring binder. You can have a Google Drive, a basket, some type of financial organizer like this. I keep a little financial organizer. Um, you can have some type of a basket. You can have any type of envelopes. You can also include your calendar so that you can keep track of when your bills are due for your budget. Um, also, I, I call my folder that I keep all my budgeting stuff in and my bills and all my things that is locked up, the ice in case of emergency folder. And I also keep it locked up, like I said. So to begin your budget um, or your spending plan, you need to record all of your daily and monthly expenses. Keeping it simple and beginning during the most productive time of your day. Um, for me, I do my best thinking in the morning, so I usually do my budgeting and all my stuff in the morning just because it's more helpful. Um, you can use paper and a pen. You can use a computer spreadsheet or an app on your phone or an, any other electronic device. What you do is you determine um, your budget and and what your family needs through trial and error, what works for you and your family. It takes a little while to get the hang of it. So, and also with the methods, I know many people who use a combination of these methods. They keep track of their uh, spending through either keeping track of them in their uh, on their phone, on their notes, paper and pen, through their receipts, Excel spreadsheets as they go along. So, and they have a combination of whatever they want. Then they plug the numbers in into one page budget so you can see where your money's coming in and going out. Um, when I first, I, I'll never forget when I first started budgeting, I was amazed to see how much money I spent at a discount store. I didn't realize how much money was going out at the discount store on things that were really not helping our net worth. So, um, as soon as I started seeing numbers in black and white, it really helped me to modify my behavior. I just chose to do it, just little ink, little tiny habits at a time. I didn't change overnight. Um, just reducing where you can see waste and tightening up. That's the basic goal of budgeting, is to meet your goals and to have your daily needs met and potentially some wants along the way and be able to pass down some cash to your family. That'd be awesome. So anyway, um, also, budgeting is part of spending wisely, being able to save with the excess, and then investing the excess for your future while reducing potential financial risks so that you can hopefully be financially, um, have some financial freedom. And that is uh, defined differently by different people. The more people and animals rely on you, the more preparation. So, um, to begin, I'm gonna go ahead, since I need to wrap it up, you're gonna to need to, uh, with your budgeting, you're gonna, step number one, I would set financial goals. Some people say to set them lighter. I set everything first so I can work towards it. Then you're gonna, cal cal step two, calculate your monthly income. Um, step three, add up your fixed monthly expenses, such as your rent or your mortgage, your car payment, your cell phone payment, and then you wanna keep track of all your expenses using the methods that I talked about before. Then step four, you determine your discretionary expenses, things that you can cut back on, like groceries, fuel, and entertainment. Those are the areas, if you're short at the end of the month, you're gonna tighten up. Yep. Um, step five, subtract your income from expenses. Step six, implement, monitor, and, and adjust. It takes a while to get the hang of this. Um, some apps that Nerd Wallet recommends: Pocket Guard, Mint, Y N A B, and Every Dollar for zero-based budgeting, good budgeting, and that's for shared envelope budgeting. Plus, there's all kinds of electronic budgets on Google if you Google them. Microsoft has a, a wide variety as well uh, under templates. Um, so. Happy budgeting. You can download our resources at UW Extension, the financial literacy pages. Thank you so much for joining me. Join me for join me next week for more money minutes. Have a good day. Bye-bye.